it was Sunday the 23rd of December. Today we're going to be looking at an infrared thermometer. Now this one is pistol grip, it has a laser sight, converts between Celsius and Fahrenheit, and it has a light on the LCD screen. So how does it work? So this thermometer has an infrared sensor on the back, which absorbs infrared light. So it focuses it onto the thermopile, which then gets hot, in a directly proportional relationship. So the more infrared, the more heat, which is then converted into electricity, and it's sent to a detector, so it knows exactly how hot everything is. So my sheet at the moment is about 19.2 degrees Celsius, and I'm going to spin it around just so you can show you the LCD light. So here's the infrared sensor, it has a laser beam on the top just showing you where you're aiming. And we're going to zoom in on this, so it tells you how big everything is. So at what a particular distance is what particular area it's measuring. And this particular one can measure between minus 32 degrees and 330 degrees. So well, how hot is an old LCD monitor that's been on for a little while? About 30 degrees Celsius, 30, 31, depending which point you're pointing it at. So at, right at the top it's about 35 degrees and right at the bottom it's at its coolest and we move to the laptop screen so this is an LED display which is 24 at the top compared to 32 at the top you can see now just how much more efficient an LED screen is compared to an LCD screen so moving around on a laptop we can see the touchpad is 28 degrees and the bit above the solid state drive is about 23 so there's a big difference there moving across here there's nothing much under there now moving across under the keyboard, this is a bit lower down, so we'll find some more stuff. And over by the CPU, it's about 28 degrees on the top of the laptop. This isn't component temperature, we'll come to that soon. Now moving to a desktop LED display, how hot are these? About 78.6 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 25.9 degrees Celsius in a warm room. So moving on to component temperature, being very careful not to touch anything inside it. The one part of the north bridge is about 33 degrees, that's the warmest part. And down here we're going to measure the surface temperature of the power supply, which comes out 25, 26 degrees. So we'll scan the temperature of the RAM, which comes out about 30 degrees Celsius or 85.6 degrees Fahrenheit. And looking at the GPU part of the graphics card, that comes out about 55 degrees Celsius or 131 degrees Fahrenheit. Moving on to the hard drives. So our primary drive comes out about 24 degrees Celsius and the rest of the drive is about 22. My hand surface temperature, 31.7 degrees Celsius or 87.9 degrees Fahrenheit. That is my surface temperature, not my internal temperature. What about a warm drink when you first made it? Now obviously the foam is colder, so I've stirred it up. We get that about 67 degrees Celsius. And when it's ready for drinking, about 44 degrees Celsius. What about fire? Well, fire, as we know, is very hot, it burns your skin, it really hurts. And I'm getting, at the moment, about 45, 60, 70. And we're going to move it around a little bit more, just one more try. And there we go, we got an 87 degrees there. I don't know if you saw that. 87 degrees Celsius. What about a bearded dragon? Now, these things are cold-blooded creatures. And the surface temperature, 32.7, 32.8. And this thing seems a lot cooler when you actually have it in your hand and you find you're just measuring things because you want to know. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. One video every day in December.